We must take back the city. I saw the gentrification of, of, of the Fillmore and the Western Edition because I lived through that as well. So all of us know we have to put out. Those of us who live here can't afford to live here anymore. Those of us who work here, who are born here, who are raised here, can't afford to live in this city anymore. We got to stop it now. It was only because courageous people stood up and put those 15,000 votes for signatures on the petition that we got this, this on the ballot. And we need it now more than ever. We need to support more than ever. We need to fight right now. The buck has to stop here. We have to be the organizers. We have to be the architects, architects for our own rescue. That's on us. Absolutely. That's on every one of us Absolutely. as citizens. We have to take on this role of citizenship right now. Supervisor Campos, you want to say a few words? David Campos, everybody. You know, when we took this uh, uh, moratorium on luxury housing to the Board of Supervisors, it became very clear that City Hall has been taken over. Corporate interests, the real estate industry are running the show in City Hall. And the reason why you have this ballot measure, you have these candidates on the ballot, it's because we know that when City Hall has been taken over by money, by money and interest, the only answer is to have the voters send a very clear message that this city is not for sale. This city, yes, sir. This city does not belong to the Ron Conways of the world. You know, the Donald Trumps and Ron Conways who think that they can just buy their way into anything. We want them to know that San Francisco is not for sale, that San Francisco belongs to San Franciscans. Yes. It belongs to working people. And the real challenge that we have before us is, will San Francisco have a middle class? Will San Francisco have a working class? And I don't believe that San Francisco can be San Francisco without a middle class. I don't believe that San Francisco can be San Francisco without a working class. That's why this measure, Prop I is the beginning of a larger effort to take back this city. We have a presidential year coming up in 2016, and there will be a number of supervisorial seats that will be on the ballot. The, the fate of San Francisco will be on the line. And when we elect, when we choose to, to, to pass Prop I, when we elect progressive candidates on November 3rd, the people, the powers that be that are right now, they think they're, you know, they're in charge. They think that they, the world is their oyster. They're going to get a very clear awakening. San Francisco is back. We're taking our city back. Thank you so much.